Welcome back to SK Cars 2.0, where we dive deep into the world of cutting-edge machines, engineering marvels, and the finest examples of modern design and performance. Today, we're taking things to the skies with one of the most anticipated aircraft in India's defense and aviation history, the 2025 HAL Tejas Mk2. This upgraded multirole fighter jet represents a new era of indigenous technology, superior performance, and advanced combat capabilities. So, let's take a closer look at its exterior, interior, performance, and pricing, and explore why this jet is a game-changer for the Indian Air Force and the future of aerial warfare. The first thing you notice when you see the Tejas Mk2 is how refined and aggressive it looks compared to its predecessor. The exterior design has evolved from the compact frame of the original Tejas to a larger, more aerodynamic airframe. Its length has been extended by nearly a meter, and its wingspan has been slightly increased, giving it a more commanding stance and improved flight stability. The fuselage has been reshaped for reduced radar cross-section, which enhances its stealth profile. The air intakes are now more efficient, allowing for better airflow to the engine while minimizing radar visibility. At first glance, it's clear that the Tejas Mk2 carries a modern fighter aesthetic, sleek lines, blended wings, and a sharp nose cone that give it a distinct fifth-generation feel. The aircraft also features additional hardpoints, increasing its weapons capacity from 7 to 11. This allows it to carry a wider variety of missiles, bombs, and fuel tanks, making it far more versatile in both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions. The addition of conformal fuel tanks along the fuselage sides provides greater range without compromising speed or agility. The use of advanced composite materials across 60% of its structure keeps the aircraft lightweight yet durable, reducing maintenance costs while improving performance. Moving closer, the cockpit canopy is made of reinforced polycarbonate, providing a wide field of view for the pilot while maintaining structural strength. Beneath it lies one of the most sophisticated cockpits ever seen in an Indian-built aircraft. Once you step inside the Tejas Mk2, you immediately notice how far HAL has come in terms of avionics and pilot comfort. The cockpit is fully digital, featuring large touchscreen multifunction displays that replace traditional analog instruments. These high-resolution screens allow the pilot to monitor radar, navigation, and weapon systems seamlessly. The layout is clean and ergonomic, designed to reduce pilot workload during high-intensity missions. The hands-on throttle and stick, or HOTAS system, allows the pilot to control almost all key systems without taking their hands off the main controls. The seat is reclined at an optimized angle to reduce fatigue during long missions and withstand higher G-forces. The cockpit also incorporates advanced night vision compatibility, meaning the pilot can operate effectively even in low-light or night combat situations. One of the biggest upgrades in the Tejas Mk2 is its radar and avionics suite. It's equipped with an indigenous UTOM active electronically scanned array AESA, radar, which gives it superior tracking and targeting capability. The radar can detect and track multiple targets at long ranges, offering all-weather capability and resistance to electronic jamming. The cockpit is also integrated with a helmet-mounted display system, allowing the pilot to target enemies simply by looking at them, drastically improving reaction time in dogfights. The aircraft's communication systems are equally advanced, featuring secure data links that allow it to coordinate with other aircraft, drones, and ground stations. This network-centric capability is crucial for modern warfare, enabling the Tejas Mk2 to function as part of a larger integrated defense system rather than a lone fighter. Now let's talk about performance, the real heart of any fighter jet. The Tejas Mk2 is powered by the General Electric F414GE in 6 turbofan engine, a massive improvement over the previous F404 engine used in the Tejas Mk1. This new power plant produces around 98 kilonewtons of thrust, giving the aircraft exceptional acceleration and agility. With this engine, the Tejas Mk2 can reach a top speed of Mach 1.8, nearly twice the speed of sound. It also has an extended combat radius of about 1,000 km and a ferry range of nearly 3,000 km, allowing it to operate deep within enemy territory or perform long-range patrol missions. The upgraded airframe allows for higher fuel capacity, which means longer endurance and fewer in-flight refueling requirements. Combined with the aircraft's advanced flight control systems, the Tejas Mk2 can perform high-G maneuvers with incredible stability. 
Its fly-by-wire system has been further refined for precision handling, giving pilots superior control even at extreme altitudes or during evasive maneuvers. In terms of armament, the Tejas Mk-2 is a true multirole fighter. It can carry a wide array of weapons, beyond visual-range missiles like the Astra, short-range air-to-air missiles, laser-guided bombs, anti-ship missiles, and standoff weapons for ground attacks. It's also equipped with an internal 23mm cannon for close combat. This level of flexibility allows the jet to excel in air superiority missions, ground strikes, reconnaissance, and even maritime patrols. The aircraft is also fitted with an advanced electronic warfare suite that includes radar warning receivers, missile approach warning systems, and countermeasure dispensers. This ensures it can detect incoming threats and deploy flares or chaff automatically to evade them. The Tejas Mk-2 survivability has been significantly enhanced, making it not only powerful but also resilient in hostile conditions. Maintenance and operational readiness are two areas where the Tejas Mk-2 truly shines. HAL has focused on reducing maintenance complexity, using modular components that can be replaced quickly. The jet's diagnostic systems continuously monitor its health, identifying issues before they become critical. This means less downtime and higher availability rates, a key advantage for any air force operating under demanding conditions. Another interesting feature is its ability to integrate with a variety of weapon systems, both indigenous and foreign. This flexibility allows the Indian Air Force to adapt its loadouts based on mission needs or future upgrades, ensuring the Tejas Mk-2 remains relevant for decades to come. When it comes to price, the Tejas Mk-2 is expected to be one of the most cost-effective fighters in its class. While exact figures may vary, estimates place the cost around 45 to 50 million US dollars per unit significantly cheaper than other aircraft offering similar capabilities, such as the F-16 or Gripen. This affordability, combined with its advanced systems, makes it an attractive option not only for India but also for potential export customers. The Tejas Mk-2 isn't just a fighter jet, it's a statement. It represents India's growing confidence and self-reliance in aerospace technology. Every component, from its radar to its flight control system, shows the evolution of Indian engineering and design. It's faster, stronger, more capable, and more versatile than anything that's come.